previously on Married to Medicine. You got receipts on my husband. I do. You ain't got no receipts on my husband. You're a liar. Why is everything against me? You need some type of insight mm -hmm. in some of your own emotions. Had you considered, if you go back to where you're from, we gotta figure out a way to get Greg and not to allow him to feel isolated. But I wanna change, like, I wanna be a high schooler now. This is babyish. Okay. So is this. This is Kate Spade! No, I don't. That's babyish? You know, most of my life, mom was sick. Most of my life, you were sick. I don't wanna be sick. And so I've decided to have a mastectomy. Now, Paige, I'm Jackie. I'm just small. to sing and then do the rap part. People trying to be a friend of me, but end up just offending me. And when they start offending me, I try to keep it chilling me. But people get confused that they know me or actually do, but they're confused with the old me. The flow is so clean. Mommy, leave right. me alone. Go ahead. Nah, 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 when you get to heaven, you're going to see what? everybody again that you ever loved. I don't want to die. Trust me. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that right here. I really think I want to have like a little men's barbecue or something. Greg will be invited. I have a problem going forward with the squad scenario because if her and Greg are not going to be able to work their scenario out, well, we still going to be cool Greg. Yeah, why not? He ain't done nothing to me. Hi, how are Hi. you? We just wanted to see if Dr. Simone was available just to chit chat. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Guys, she'll be with you in just a minute. Okay, thank you. So when you see a gynecologist, you have to sit there, pull out the, and you have to like sit like this, uh -huh. and they make you scoot all the way down, and then they look at everything. Not from the outside, but from the inside. I remember my first OBGYN experience, and it was very uncomfortable. It was a man, and he had big fingers. And I have never went to a male OBGYN since then. You'll be seeing your doctor from this perspective. Every single day? No, 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 no. So my goal is to make sure Lauren does not have that same experience. Oh my God, you showed her stirrups? I, I showed her. Um, I didn't know the official name. <laughs> Your mom was my patient when mm -hmm. you were in her belly. Mm -hmm. I delivered Lauren. And it is a good feeling in my heart to see her now as a teenager developing into a young lady. She's in high school now. And I wanted her to have a conversation with you about growing up and not necessarily the meat and potatoes just yet. Right. I think that comes in maybe right. next year, I'm hoping. What's that? No, you What's that? Meat and potatoes. Oh, you don't need them. You just like broccoli and spinach. <laughs> well, Mariah, mm -hmm. I hate to put you out, mm -hmm. but we're about to jump into the good stuff. Can you just walk out? <laughs> you want me to go? Yeah. The whole reason a young person comes to see the OBGYN in the first place. You've got some shit you want to tell me that you just can't tell your mama. So are you excited about going to high school? Yeah. Did you have any crushes this last year of middle school? No. Well, thank God. And remember to stay away from the boys, because they're just nasty. Yes. Right now, the time is to focus on school. Yeah. Now, Lauren, do you have a cell phone? Yes, ma'am. Are you and your friend texting pictures? OK, because you also want to stay away from that. Yes. There are lots of things that go through a teenager's head from day to day. My job is to make sure that they are able to reach out to somebody in case of a problem. 
one thing I've learned, like, as I, like, grew up, I tried to stay, like, with the bigger groups and things like that, but it's, like, easier if you have a smaller group of people it who is. you can trust and, right. like, be around. And that's what I have now. Right. You know, if you experience any issues with the girls or the boys, you just let your mom know. I promise you she will handle it. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <yes. laughs> it is so good to see you. It's nice to see you, it too. Is. Green. <laughs> Come on in here. I cooked for you. What you cooked, Jackie? I got your protein and your carbs right here. Mm -hmm. Now, child, if anybody foolish enough to think that Jackie has cooked anything, she does not cook. You ain't gonna do nothing. I'm not me. I am doing something. Help! What you want to eat? I just want uh, water for now. Okay, I got water. She purchases things and plates them and acts as if she's done something. Fitting was awesome. Y'all had a good time. Oh, I had a ball. Sound like it. I had a ball. Bit. Now, how are you? You know, it's tough. It's not easy. Who are you telling her? <laughs> I am so not used to leaning on people. I'm just well, not. It's not leaning on people when you allow me to hold your hand. Because when I couldn't walk last year, y'all held my hand. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what the hell about talking to you about this. You got shit on top of shit right now. <laughs>